As the WNBA's Olympic break approaches in 24 days, both Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever are eagerly anticipating the pause in their challenging season. For those wondering why the Fever have secured numerous top draft picks in recent years, Caitlin Clark at number one in 2024, Aaliyah Boston at number one in 2023, and Alyssa Smith at number two in 2022, the answer was painfully evident during their game against the Seattle Storm on Thursday. Despite a valiant effort, the Fever appeared every bit a team languishing at the bottom of the standings, with frustration palpable among the players. Seattle's 89-77 victory underscored the stark differences between the two teams, a scoreline that belied the true dominance of the storm. Seattle, led by Jewel Lloyd, a five-time All-Star and last season's scoring champion, showcased a cohesion and synergy that the Fever sorely lacked. Despite the storm's roster overhaul, they played with the familiarity of a seasoned squad, a testament to their defensive and offensive execution. Seattle shot an impressive 47.5% from the field and a staggering 57.1% from beyond the arc in the first half. Lloyd alone scored 23 points in just 15 minutes, while Neka Aguamite came close to a double-double with 9 points and 10 rebounds in the same time frame, achieving it within the first 36 seconds of the second half. Two other Storm players also scored in double figures. It never really felt great out there, Clark admitted post-game. It just didn't feel like it was flowing well. Her understatement highlighted a night where Lloyd ultimately tallied 34 points, hitting 6 of 9 from deep, and four other Storm players scored 7 points or more. The Fever's desperate need for practice and improvement was evident. Coach Christie Sides did not mince words, we've got a lot of growing up to do. That's just what it is. The outside expectations, the outside noise, it doesn't help, but we have to stay connected, keep growing, and keep finding ways to improve. There were glimmers of hope for Indiana. Temi Thagbenel returned after missing 11 games due to a foot injury and showed promise in her 19 minutes on the court, contributing 8 points and 7 rebounds. Aaliyah Boston dominated the boards with 14 rebounds, while Clark, despite her visible frustration, delivered a solid performance with 15 points, 7 assists, and 6 rebounds. Her flair was evident with a signature long-range three-pointer and a behind-the-back pass, although it didn't result in a basket from Smith. However, Clark faced physical play, spending a significant portion of the first quarter on the floor, frustrated by a lack of calls and team cohesion. Nobody enjoys losing, she remarked glumly. We've lost 12 games and we're not even at the halfway point of our season. We're not gonna be walking around the court smiling. Being able to find that competitive edge while staying positive is a hard thing to do. We can definitely be better at it. The Fever struggles were compounded by their inability to generate open looks and protect the ball, leading to 22 turnovers that Seattle converted into 27 points. The Storm's fast break points outpaced Indiana's by 17-4, highlighting the Fever's defensive lapses. Despite a pre-game optimism from Clark, who believed the team had made significant improvements since their last narrow defeat in Seattle on May 22, the game underscored that the Fever still lagged behind. Their young core has yet to master the art of competing effectively against the league's best. With the WNBA's Olympic break offering a four-week hiatus, there's a sliver of hope for the fever. Most teams will allow players a brief vacation before resuming rigorous practice sessions. For Indiana, this break cannot come soon enough. They are counting down the days, eager to regroup and refine their game in hopes of salvaging what has been a tough season so far.